Today, ESG is at a critical crossroads. This is true for all industries, but it is particularly true for energy and infrastructure companies. Globally, ESG regulatory and stakeholder engagement developments are increasingly focused on companies' supply and value chain visibility and transparency, as well as the full scope of companies' environmental and social impacts, risks, opportunities, and strategies. These developments include EU regulations, the new ISSB standards, and the final SEC climate disclosure rules when they are released as well as stakeholder engagement and litigation developments worldwide. At the same time that we are seeing an increase in sustainability-related regulation worldwide, we are observing the fragmentation of U.S. ESG and sustainability-related stakeholder positions as the conservative ESG movement gains traction. It is worth noting that greenwashing claims and the conservative ESG movement are arguably both encouraging companies to move in the same direction. That direction is towards better verification of the value propositions of their environmental and social initiatives, rather than the approaches often taken by early ESG initiatives. Many early approaches were position-based approaches that fell short of alignment to long-term corporate strategy and value. The challenge is what the challenge has always been, to more effectively articulate how our industries have historically moved and continue to move the world forward, and therefore how we can continue to move forward the energy transformation. But the opportunity continues to evolve. The opportunity is to continue to find ways for our industries to support the central tenets of ESG and sustainability, those central tenets being human survival, human rights, and human dignity, while delivering the energy that keeps the world moving. I'm Sarah Fort, partner and global co-chair of the ESG practice at Latham & Watkins.